This week, 100 Huntley Street, here's our topic, made new, best new ever. Here's what I love about this new. When you've tasted it, you just can't settle for the old, old. The new that is found and received in Jesus Christ is a new unlike any other. 2 Corinthians 5 is such a powerful explanation of this new. Let me just start by reading verse 1 again of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Hope you can follow along with me. Paul says this, who wrote, he said, For we know that if the tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, listen to this, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. The first word in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 is for. For we know, he says. Paul is building off of what he previously said. So if we go back a couple of verses, 2 Corinthians 4, listen to this. So we do not lose heart. Maybe you're listening right now and you are losing heart. You are discouraged. You're in a place of you're fighting through some form of despair. But listen to this. In Christ, made new, we do not lose heart. Why? Though our outer self is wasting away. Do you feel that way? I do sometimes, man. I'm not getting any younger. The bones are creaking, right? The illness is coming upon us. Those things are happening. Many of us watch right now, we're feeling that. But though the outer self is wasting away, the inner self, newness in Christ, is being renewed day by day. You're actually becoming more new in Jesus Christ. That's what the Holy Spirit does within us. You can't always see it. It's not always obvious on the outside, but it's true on the inside, right? And the text says this, for this light momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. How great is God's word? It is telling us that the newness in Christ does not spare us from trial, does not relieve us from difficulty, does not mean we're exempt from aging or feeling like we're getting older, but the reality is the Holy Spirit within us is testifying that we have a new that the world can only dream of. This is the promise of Jesus Christ. So when Paul says then in chapter 5 verse 1 again, for we know that if the tent, what's the tent? That's our earthly body, he says. Our earthly home is destroyed, he says. If you destroy this body, We have a building from God, not made with human hands, but made by the hands of God. You know how encouraging that is? Paul's saying this. He says, listen, if you take my tent away, here's the reality. It's just a tent. You can can kill me. You You can take my physical body from me. But in the reality, it's just a tent. Think of how much our world obsesses over the tent. All the effort, all the makeup, all the clothes, all the procedures, trying to make this tent look like it's really special. But at the end of the day, it's just a tent. Aren't you encouraged by that? I'm so encouraged by that, right? All we're, all we're realizing here is the tent won't last. What will last? The soul. The soul in Jesus Christ and one day the resurrected glorified body and the Lord Jesus Christ when he returns, that's the hope we have. And it's all found as we are made new in Jesus. I'm telling you right now, lean in, listen carefully. You can't find these promises anywhere else in all of life. They are only found in Jesus Christ. You can destroy this tent, but in reality, man, I will live forever because Jesus Christ has set me free. Jesus Christ lives within me. Does he live within you? That's the new that is always true and never, ever gets old. Would you call us right now? This is your time. 1-866-273-4444. Begin a relationship with Jesus Christ for a new that will never, ever see corruption again. God bless you today.